This is the entry. Yeah. Oh. Also, the Sultan had four wives. Four wives? Yeah. So, you see the tomb? People normally call this place the lost city or the abandoned city. Show you. Mm. Okay. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Oh, it's so oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so 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 yeah. <laughs> hey guys <laughs> anyway welcome back to the channel so today i'm here at uh, gede ruins and you can see we have monkeys here you know for me i fear monkeys so welcome back to the channel my name is manuel akama and uh, <laughs> thank you so much for clicking guys yeah, uh, we are here uh, at uh, Gede Ruins. Hey, I don't have banana. <laughs> we are here at uh, Gede Ruins, one of the most popular historical monuments here we have. Uh, in Malindi, what time I can say, but uh, to be precise, here in the coast part of Kenya. And today I want to explore more with you here. But uh, before that, <coughs> I have a friend here. Oh, monkeys. Before that, I have a friend here. I will introduce him. Then uh, later on, because he works here, he will tell us more about the place. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kindly watch the video till to the end. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on my Instagram page. I'll put the name in the screen on the screen there. So, bro, you can introduce yourself. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm Emmanuel. Ah. Emmanuel. Yeah. So <laughs> Namesake. Okay, I'm the guide here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll tell you the history of Gedi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as well. So we'll go to the map mm -hmm. so that I, I it will direct you mm -hmm. to the Gedi city where the Arabs uh -huh. say here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, for how long have you been working here? This is the first year. I started here at, at January. January. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Sure. Alright guys, you can see jungle vibes and we have the monkeys there. You know for me I'm kind of scared of monkeys. But uh, actually that is one of the activities when you come here you can feed the monkeys. Right, you buy the banana there, you feed the monkeys. But for me, no. <laughs> Alright, so where are we going? We are going direct to the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but before the map we have to mm -hmm. stamp the tickets before we go. Uh, talking of the tickets, so people can ask. How much can one pay? Like for me, for a local. For local people, it's uh, 100 shilling. For local. Yeah, yeah. And for international guests, like you uh, see. 500 shilling. 500 shillings. For, uh, for residents, uh -huh. uh, 400 for non-residents. Ah. Yeah, sure. And actually, guys, here you pay through this uh, electronic, whatever. I don't know the e citizen. E citizen. Yeah. So let's go and uh, stamp our uh, receipts, right? Yeah. Sure. Then catch up. Watch the video to the end. So. Wow. Where's the office? Uh -huh. Wow. The place looks quiet. Yeah. Wow, this is my very first time guys to be here. And actually I've been living here for so long. Like from 20 2019 I've been staying here in Malindi wow so because I don't know if they are camera friendly friendly sorry so I'll put on off my camera but you can see here we have a small 
like uh, directions. Uh, welcome to Gedi. Is it Gedi or Gede? Gedi. Gedi. Yeah. So here Local is. People they say Gede. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Gedi. Okay. So welcome to Gedi National Monument, historical monument. Oh, there's a snake rescue park. Yeah. And a prime primate global foundation. Wow. Ah, oh, and you can see there you you place the the tuckers, the whatever the bottles. The bottles. So, so guys, stick the video. Let's uh, finish with the receipts. So you don't go the no problem. Let me go there. Wow. Well. All right. Uh -huh. So welcome to Gedi. Mm -hmm. So this is the map. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gedi covers 45 acres with our two walls. Uh -huh. The inner wall and the outer wall. Mm -hmm. So the inner wall, the inner wall was covered uh, twelve acres. You can speak yeah. loud, please. Sorry. Okay. Speak loud, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The inner wall covers twelve acres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The outer wall, forty-five acres. It mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. those ones who live in the inner wall, the mm -hmm. rich people, hey. the one who live outside <laughs> the outer wall, the mm -hmm. poor people. So these people that were Muslim, so mm -hmm. they found here they mm -hmm. had eight mosques with oh. twenty-eight wells. Yeah, for oh. abolition before they enter the mosque. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the population it was around 2,500 to 3,000. Those oh. people who lived here. Mm. Also, uh, they had five gates two in the outer wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one, the yeah, gate. Uh -huh. Three in the inner wall. Oh. Yeah, so the inner wall uh, measures nine, uh, seven feet height, mm -hmm. the outer wall nine feet height. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we will use the north gate mm -hmm. yeah, to, to visit the Gedi city. Okay. Yeah. So this shows us the direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so we can go. We can go check the place. Wow, this place looks quiet and it gives a vibe, nature. Yeah. So are we going this way? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, the place is that's the access road. Yeah. So this is the small museum. The small museum? Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, I'm here with the with my namesake. Emmanuel. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the museum. The museum. Mm -hmm. After the excavation, excavation mm -hmm. all the artifacts were stored here. Mm -hmm. So we land it here. So we can go. Oh, uh, but I can show people inside. Sure, there. sure. Okay. Thank you. So now they are doing renovation. Oh, so I'm uh, sorry for this. no, no, no problem, bro. No problem, bro. So these are all artifacts were used by the poor people and the rich people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, guys, you can bear with us. They are doing a, they are doing a renovation here because you know, uh, in the coast part of Kenya, they normally like they. They depend on tourists, so at least when they do this, when the tourists come, they find the place looks nice. The place looks nice, and uh, yeah, so they are doing actually renovation. So bear with us. Let's uh, move to the other side. Uh, gives a vibe. Okay. Wait, I hope there there are no snakes here. No, no, no. Uh -huh. We are safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can stop. Oh. And uh, this this road? Yeah, we will use the other road. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the main gate. This, this was the main gate. The this road. Gate, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but because of renovation, this uh, that is, is a restaurant. Oh. So because of renovation, mm -hmm. that's why we are using this road here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the main gate mm -hmm. to, to there. Mm. You can see here, man. Who are you, Monsieur? Yeah. Are you me? Um, are you with an Azuma? Like any? Mm-hmm. Like a maybe. Yeah. Oh. Um. So let me give you a small introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So welcome to Gedi City. Mm -hmm. So Gedi, it was a Swahili Arab settlement. Mm -hmm. So before the Arab, there were another community who lived here called the Wangozi people or the local people. Mm -hmm. So they intermarried with the Arabs in 12th century. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, initially, Gedi it was called Kilimani. Mm -hmm. Then it was changed mm -hmm. by another community who came here in 15th century. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So t uh, they, they change from uh, Kilimani to Gedi means precious. Oh, the, oh, the Gedi means, means precious. precious. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So that was the inner wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, measures seven feet height. Wow. Yeah. So let's go and visit the mosque. Mm -hmm. So far, we'll see only two mosques. The two small mosques. mosque for mm -hmm. the children mm -hmm. as a madras mm -hmm. and the great mosque. Also, these people that were ruled by a sultan or a king. So oh. we'll visit the palace. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. I want to see the, the king's palace. Wow. So. So in 17th century, it was total abandoned. In 17th century. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then in 1927. Someone might ask, why was it abandoned? Yeah. Uh, the, there was a drought of water in the world, uh -huh. there was no water, mm -hmm. so they decided to disappear. So they, uh, they abandoned this place slowly by slowly. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Also they had conflicts with the Gala people who mm -hmm. took over after the Arabs in the in 15th century. Oh, okay. Sure. So mm -hmm. this, is also the, this was the uh, small mosque mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the children as a madras. This one? Yeah. So. Oh. This was the Kibla facing Mecca direction. Oh. So back then there were no microphones, so they were using echo. If you enter inside here, mm -hmm. you shout it's echo back. So I can show you. Wallah Akbar! Wallah Akbar! Wallah Akbar! So it's echo back. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't. They didn't have the, they didn't the have speakers. Micro, yeah, microphone or speakers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Also, they had the well. They had the well they used for abolition. So they used this chamber mm -hmm. for abolition before they entered the mosque. So this is the chamber, the mm -hmm. fetch water from that well. Oh, from that well? Yeah. Let me check. How deep is this well? Here. Let me be careful. Sure. Ah, and it's dried out. Wow. Wow. Oh, the mosque of the... Uh, So, mm -hmm. in 1927, mm -hmm. it was gazetted as a national monument. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then they did excavation in 1948 to 1958. So they took 10 years for mm -hmm. excavation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they did excavation in, uh, in only in 12 acres. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, we have the tall tree. It's called the rocket tree. Rocket tree. Yeah. Very smooth. See that the monkey they can't climb. The, they can't climb this tree. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have also the uh, tamarind tree. This one? Yeah. The, the, oh. Ukwaju. The, Ukwaju. Ukwaju, right. Yeah. Sure. Wow. So, also, these are all houses for mm -hmm. the rich people. For the rich people? Sure. Wow. Hey, guys. Also, we have another wheel here. They used to drink or to cook. The other words are, are for abolition. Wow. Yeah. Hey. People normally call this place the lost city or the abandoned city. Yeah. So we have another house here still standing until now. Where? Yeah, and with uh, a bathtub inside. Serious? Sure. Wow. From 17A. 12th century. 12th century. Yeah. Wow, up to date. Yeah. Wow. You can see, it seems the woods were very strong at that time. Sure. They, use but they, they kept this wood for supporting the roof. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Let me be careful. So, this is the bathtub. 
Let me check this side. Oh, I can go up to this side. have another tree here special for the Mijikendas or the local people who live here we call the Giriyama people uh -huh. it's called a strangler fig tree or a Mugandi uh -huh. it's a special tree for the this one all air yeah. it's very special tree mm -hmm. they were using to keep wishes wishes under, yeah under this tree wow. yeah I think also in some communities, actually guys, in some communities, they still believe when you go to pray under the tree, yeah, yeah. Like, or okay, you make a wish under the tree, something can happen. Yeah, also. Yeah, in some communities, actually. Yeah, like uh, for the Wakikuyu, mm -hmm. they have uh, also strangler fig tree, they call him Gumo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but our strangler fig tree is called him Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Sure. So back then, there were using to keep uh, to keep promises mm -hmm. yeah wow. so they were using this wall to keep something maybe if it's a coin mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so we're keeping here so this is a, a special tree for gedi mm -hmm. because it's, it's not easy to see this type of tree outside actually yeah true Wow, so it, it is very it's, it's tall. It's different from another tree. It's killed the other tree so that it can support it itself to grow. Yeah, you can see. Wow, guys, we still have a lot of visitors. You can see this place is so, so popular. Like when you visit uh, Watam, actually it's around, uh, you connect uh, the road from the Gede town to Watam. So it's like a few few meters from the main road. Yeah, six meter, uh, six meter, six, sixty kilometers from six, here yeah. to Watam. Well, from from here to Watam is yeah, sixty. Six so when you are, even in Watam, you can just access the area. Sure. Right. Wow, guys. So what I was saying, if you visit uh, like Watam, you can also come and visit uh, this place. Wow, and you can see. The place is very old. Imagine, close to 3,000 people are staying here. Wow. So that's the palace. So, so this is the palace. Mm -hmm. covers a quarter an acre mm -hmm. with a two section inside. The public and private. Mm -hmm. In the public section, mm -hmm. we have two courts inside. Men's court and women's court. Because these oh. people that are Muslim, they can't gather. Mm -hmm. So this is the entry. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Also, the Sultan had four wives. Four wives? Yeah. So you see the tomb where the Sultan was buried. Wow, oh, guys, and this this place is like this. It's very tall, guys. You can... Wow. Very tall. Hmm. So this was the reception courts. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah, this uh, I can see a uh, hole here. Yeah? It was uh, like a I see. They put water. Oh. It's called the, the, oh, the house. Okay. Yeah. They have two. Oh, let's see the other one here. Yeah. So, so this is the private section. Mm -hmm. uh, they had four four rooms four for rooms. The, for his wives. Yeah. Oh yeah, he had four wives. Yeah, yeah. And you, how many wives do you have? <laughs> Only one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. I don't enjoy. Everybody enjoy. now. Uh huh. We go this way or this yeah, way. Yeah. Okay. So this way. So this was the this was the men's court. Uh, ah, it's very huge. Eh? Yeah. It's very big. So, Sultan was sitting here. 
Let me sit here like Sultan with four wives. So Sultan was solving the problem earlier in the morning and late oh, evening. When he yeah. sits here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. You can see the other, the other end of the other yeah, rooms. Another women's coat, very small. Also, we have the type of toilets. Yeah, these are the type of toilets. Ah. Okay. Wow. Guys, you can see this was the toilet of a sultan. <laughs> and was this a kitchen or something? <laughs> it's a toilet. Oh, a toilet. I thought this is a kitchen, this is a toilet that they cook from here. But we have to go So we have the women's coats. Huh? Ah, the women's coat is very small. Why? So they were solving their problem with the first wife of the Sultan. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Also we have the tomb or the grave of the Sultan and his wives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sultan was buried here. See the pillar? Oh, he was buried here. Yeah. Wow. We check from behind or yeah, also? Yeah. Okay. Oh, guys, if you're joining this video, kindly give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We are here at uh, Gedi Ruins. And uh, generally, I want to show you what really happens here in the back in the 16th and 17th century. And uh, yeah. Enjoy the video. So this was the grave. Okay. Well, but they did the excavation. Oh. Yeah. So oh. here we have the graves of his wives, the first wife, mm -hmm. the second wife, the third wife, and the fourth wife. Oh. Yeah. See the icon. Forty hectares. Forty-five hectares. Forty-five. It seems this place like. So these are the rooms. Yeah. Of the sultan. Hmm, was this a toilet? Hmm. So the Arabs are the first people who came with this type of the how how they build their houses. They are the first people mm -hmm. who came with this knowledge. Oh. So if you go to a town, most of the build, like most the of the areas. buildings are like yeah. that. Oh. Even even in when you go to okay, okay well, I normally see in the pictures uh, the lamb in lamb. Also they build like this. Yeah. So also mm -hmm. the the Arab What was this? Or the, oh, that's the oh, I thought it was also for the. <laughs> no, no. So also the Arab they mm -hmm. did uh, business with the. With the Arabs, uh, with the other countries, mm -hmm. like uh, Chinese. Mm -hmm. So some artifacts were found in here. Mm -hmm. They came from China, mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know how to speak Italian? Yeah. No. Some. Some. <laughs> some I'm not that. Uh, I'm not poco, that perfect, poco. but. Uh, I'm, uh, I okay. No problem. Wow, well, guys, we have a lot and a lot of visitors here. Let me see. Qui dove c'era la gente? Nessuno lamentava. Taca di sultano profuma. Taca real. Lui mangiava la rosa, saponetta, taca dorata. Come taca santa come lui, taca santa. 
Persona por te da problema. Anche lui poteva andare nel cesso, pole pole, indiscreta, mattina presto per ascoltare cosa dicevano. La gente non sapeva che lui era dentro. Spiava quindi, se uno diceva le cose attive, sentiva tutto. Furbone. Ciao. Ciao. Wow. He's trying to explain in Italian. Italian language. Okay. We go. So? We are going, we are going to the Great Mosque. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they were praying mm -hmm. during Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were praying five times a day. Five times? Yeah. For the Muslims. Hey, hey, I love actually you can you can feel like uh, you can act here a movie like yeah oh up to the other side yeah. oops you can, you can hear the birds do you can do you know how to call the birds mm. maybe the monkeys right yeah the monkeys when you you can try them then they come here yeah, but the, if you have bananas, they will <laughs> come to you. If you don't have banana, yeah, they disappear. But I can call them. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, this wow. is another type of wall. Uh huh. Very small. Ah, this one is uh, very deep, and you can't see inside. Sure. Wow, I, actually, I love how these trees are very big. Uh, uh, yeah, and how they are uh, like. So after excavation, then nature took part. Yeah, yeah. yeah we have all the we have the old 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 trees here. But actually, I like how you people you are really really trying to maintain this place. You see, uh, this place when you leave it like a year, like a all, even month or weeks. You can see bush here, but this uh, actually this is a good work. So maybe if I ask you a question, uh, you people who are working here, do you, are you paid with the government or the community? With the visitors. <laughs> the visitors? Yeah. So people they pay to throw a citizen, oh. then like he decide maybe if to oh. take a guide or a, he, he will walk alone. So if he needs a guide, then we get Oh. Daily meal for the visitors. Okay. So we can first through here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no problem. <coughs> so this was a. This was uh, our graves. Oh, graves. Uh, some people were buried outside the mosque. Oh. Yeah. So this was the great mosque. Also, it had uh, two section: hmm. women's at the back, men in front. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, they had the kibla. So this oh. was the kibla. Mm -hmm. With a mimbari. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after here, then he go, uh, he's going to the mimbari so that he can preach. Oh, okay. So, wow. so they were doing the same thing. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Oh, you can see the, the, the place where they are. They are keeping lights. Yeah. Guys, we are in the lost city. In the, in the abandoned town or city. So this was the chamber they used huh? for abolition. Oh. Also the imam of this great mosque mm -hmm. buried there. Where? Yeah, so the pillar. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. so that was the entry. Let me show you. That was the entry. Oh. Here. You say this they did a excavation of uh, the remains. Yeah, yeah, all the twelve vehicles. Oh. Yeah. 
Wow. This uh, this that came from Oman. Oman. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we can see the other way here. It's very big. Very big. Wow. Hey. I'm wondering how are they digging this? Wow. Hey, guys. Oh, I can see that coming. Okay, this is another grave uh, for the leader of the Gala people who took over after the Arabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the leader of the Gala people was buried here. Mm. So this is the outer wall now, mm. going to the forest. So some some of the mosques that mm. are in the forest, mm. maybe if someone needs a nature walk, then mm. you can visit the other mosque in the forest. Oh, we have the mosque in the forest? Yeah. Okay. So far we have visited only two mosques, and oh. they had eight mosques. Eight mosques? Yeah. Wow. So also we have the another another uh, graves here, mm -hmm. called the dated tomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after the... <coughs> Before the Arabs mm -hmm. abandoned this place, mm -hmm. they leave their words written in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Then it was translated as a dated tomb in Arabic calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 802 after Hijra mm -hmm. to Islam uh, to Christian calendar, mm -hmm. uh, 1399 mm -hmm. AD after that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it means the, these people who buried here mm -hmm. they were head uh, high ranks. So this one here had a high rank than this one here. Oh, okay, this sure, one. Sure. Hey guys, I hope you can see there's a written in Arabic. <coughs> hey, let me show you. Wow, it says there. Wow. Uh, Alright, guys, we're still uh, exploring. And actually, what I'll do. What I'll do, okay, maybe, again, maybe introduce yourself because maybe someone is maybe following the video or is just start watching the video. Yeah, I'm Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a tour guide here at Gedi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what I'll do, guys, uh, I know if you're watching this video, you might try to visit this place. So, what I'll do, I'll try to put his number in the comment section or in the description box so if you guys visit this place you can contact him and uh, he will give you a tour of this place actually this place is very nice even uh, when you check in the like when you google like it had a good history back in the days so watch the video till the end we're still uh, finishing up the video then uh, yeah subscribe to the channel we are actually road to 2000 subscribers so enjoy the video yeah we still have the the visitors here mm -hmm. oh, camera she got one okay what okay I'm going to keep it. record it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to Hello, guys. <laughs> also, uh, I'm a tour guide at uh, another place. Also, I do, I do a tour guide. We yeah. have uh, another places like uh, Malindi. <laughs> you're good, you're good. I can Malindi. So maybe if you need to visit uh, the other other places, then you can contact me. Yeah, I can do something good for you. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll put his number here so you guys can contact him. Wait, Ile, please, Ile, where you go up to? Tonight, I was straight. Hindani. 
Ah, okay. So yeah, we are at this place before. <coughs> I, uh, bro. Look at this monkey. Right? I hope he's in Ugonga. Okay. We rush to go. So. Ah, <laughs> Don't panic. You have to face your fears. <coughs> oh, wait, wait. Hey guys, when you come here and you are, you are afraid like me here, be ready for the monkeys. So this is our restaurant here. They do innovation. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Can you get inside? No. We can't get inside. Yeah. Oh, we can't access the area. Yes, we are. Because they are still in the Oh. But uh, there's a time I saw the. Uh, there's. You can get inside. You yeah. can get inside. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Wow, guys, as I've told you, coast part of Kenya always, sometimes like 70% depends on tourists. So many monkey. They kind of depend on tourists, and you can see there there's a group of tourists, a lot of groups. So we get, so this uh, they are trying to create a, a hotel, right? It's a restaurant. A restaurant. I'm kind of, actually, I'm kind of conflicted about between the restaurant and the hotel. I'm very conflicted about that. So. Are we oh, we can see the the well okay okay well he make a way in a good job oh so yes it's umbo okay so guys they are trying to Build a uh, restaurant. I think when the new people visit here, you can uh, find a lot of uh, uh, easy monkeys, guys. <laughs> like how many numbers? More than three hundred. Huh? More than three hundred monkeys. More than three. Guys. Yeah. So this wow. is a baby well. Baby well. Yeah, blue one. Well. So it was called at Watamu mm -hmm. in 2014. 2014. Yeah. Wow. 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 Baby well. <laughs> so, so far he has ten years here. Yeah. Ten years here. Yeah. Oh, ten, ten, yeah. Oh. Can I touch? Yeah, sure. I love finish KV for four okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Uh, These are the pots we are using to store water. We have another museum here. Oh, okay. There are many artifacts. It's like a gallery. Oh. Yeah. Monkey. <clears throat> So these are the pots they are using to store water. Mm. Uh, also here, they have some artifacts that were used by the rich people, mm -hmm. other for the poor people. Also they had a culture, a Swahili culture. Mm. So some of the artifacts they were using for the Swahilis or the Wangosi people. Oh. So. so this is the place, guys, back in the dates. <coughs> So they use dough as a means of transport. Yeah. What about this? Are these belts or something? Some belts, mm -hmm. uh, armbands, mm -hmm. silver necklaces. Wow. This one's.
సో అప్పు దాద సైడ్ సో ఆల్సో దిస్ ఈస్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద మాన్యుమెంట్ సైడ్ ద మ్యూజియం గైస్ బి రెడీ ఆఫ్ దిస్ మంకీస్ దిస్ మంకీస్ మంకీస్ ఆర్ ఫ్రెండ్లీ మీ ఫర్ for me no so guys we are finishing up the video with my good friend here and uh, as i've said i'll put his number here you guys when you come to get the ruins you can contact him and uh, he will show you around so i think the monkey is coming <laughs> so what do you have to say as we finish up the video Okay tell people to visit this place. Okay. You are all welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm always here. Mm -hmm. So if someone who, who is interesting mm -hmm. then you can visit Gedi. Mm -hmm. Gedi is a nice place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you visit here you will learn something. Okay. Yeah, uh, so you are welcome all. Your number please. 07 no, plus 254. Plus 254 783 86 ఫోర్ <sighs> and uh, i'll appreciate you so much thank you so much from our beautiful side gede ruins here in watamu and i say thank you so much see you on next day bye